everything is everything is crystal clear crystal clear yes yeah okay. um uh hilalai hilalai can you say everything is crystal clear everything is crystal clear okay beautiful okay so i'm gonna go to the next slide bam that's her prerogative i yeah i know that this word this this word is not easy to pronounce and so i i type the ro in blue to remind you uh, i mean to guide you with the stress okay that's her prerogative prerogative okay the da 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 prerogative prerogative that's her prerogative okay okay and um and then number three you have to okay now okay what's your address what's your address it means the place where you live but when you say you have to address address it means you have to talk about it okay and here number five Ana anonymous 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 okay so let's read i'm gonna start with hilalai and then in and then karina okay hilalai can you please read the number one and number two sentences that is the prerogative no no okay again hilalai. That, is it, that's her that's her pro Pre, 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 raw. Pre, raw. It's not easy, right? It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are like, don't worry. Even me, <laughs> even me, when I was trying to pronounce this, my mouth was like, I, I got tongue tied, you know, because I got this, I got this, okay, I got this sentence actually from a Brampton police on television. You know? <laughs> Okay, so Ilala, I say that's her pre raw, pre raw. That pre -raw. is her pre raw. Get it. Get it. Pre raw. Pre raw. Get, Get it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Okay, owning, okay. okay, you see, owning a luxury, luxury. Owning, owning a large luxury car is still the pro pro get it. Pro. Yeah. No, 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 no. of the wealthy is yes. that is that the risk you are willing to take yes okay so now okay number one is that's her okay you know what let let me explain later <clears throat> okay uh, in number three four yes you have to adjust this issue as soon as possible before it come before it becomes a big uh, problem communication is key to a better relationship yes uh, okay thank you ian okay uh, karina number five hi teacher yeah number five karina yes we are trying to piece to piece it all together through interviews and anonymous tips from witnesses. Yes. Now these sentences, I got them last Thursday, I think, or or Wednesday, no Thursday, uh, while watching City Post twenty four. And a police officer was talking about the shooting in Mississauga. Okay, and somebody uh, uh, about a fatal shooting. Okay, now, now look at this down here. We have prerogative. Prerogative means a right or privilege. Prerogative is a right or privilege. Means in this sentence number one, uh, the rich wealthy means the rich people. The rich people, like you know, I can I, I could just have said of the rich, but I wanted to deliver a vocabulary that will elevate your communication skills. So I say I say wealthy instead of rich, wealthy, wealthy. Okay, um, 
Um, okay, so listen, everybody, you know my suggestion. Okay, this is my suggestion to you. Um, uh, okay, actually, it's a good idea for you because you're seven, eight, nine, that when I'm teaching, you take notes. Okay, but if you want me to post uh, these, uh, this lesson on Facebook, on our Facebook page, so you can download, let me know at the end of the class. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because it's good for you. You need to elevate your English. Okay. Okay. So here, um, luxury cars are BMW, Lexus convertible, um, Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, um, Mercedes. Those are luxury cars. So luxury cars like that are still the prerogative of the rich people, of the wealthy. Owning a luxury car is still the prerogative of the wealthy. The sentence means um, owning, owning a luxury car is a privilege. It's a privilege, okay? It is not that you have to, it's just, a, it's a privilege. And it, this privilege works very well with the rich people because uh, poor people cannot afford to buy a Mercedes. And I'm talking about new one, okay? If you are poor, do not buy BMW or Mercedes. Uh, you have to be true to yourself. Your family, it's not my problem, but your family back home, they need you. So instead of spending this money, why don't you send your mom a thousand dollars? A thousand dollars, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, look at number two. Is that the risk? you are willing to take the sentence means are you sure you want to do that that is dangerous are you sure you want to do that that is dangerous you have to number three you have to address this issue as soon as possible before it becomes a bigger problem means you have to find a solution to this problem by talking about it before it becomes bigger. Because if not, it's gonna be too late. If you have this problem, talk to the boss. If your coworker is always making dirty comments about you or to you, you've got to talk to this person. And if this person does not stop talking, you have to go you have to go higher talk to the boss and if the boss cannot help you have to talk to hr you have to address this issue as soon as possible because when you don't people will think it's okay and it will become more and more and more serious and one day you will not you will you will be full of stress and you will not be happy to wake up in the morning and knowing that someone in the workplace is gonna harass you okay Number four, communication is key to a better relationship. In a relationship, marriage, friendship, teacher, student, communication is key. You know key? Key. Key to a better relationship. If you are communicating, okay, let me start with myself. Okay, if you are communicating with me, for example, you text me or you call me and I, you say to me, um, Andrew, I'm very sorry, but I cannot come to class next week. I cannot come to class for two weeks because I'm traveling to my country. Um, my, my mother is very sick and I want to be with her. <clears throat> now, so, and I will, I will support you emotionally. I am also an immigrant and I know how it feels to be away from the people you love. And so I will support you in this situation, but you have to communicate this with me. Communication is key to a better relationship between student and teacher, because if you don't communicate this with me, you disappear from the class for two weeks. And when I call you, your phone is not working because you are in your country. And so I will call the school and I say, okay, can you please uh, remove this lady from my list or this, uh, you know, this student from my list. Communication is, is very important. Even with your wife and husband, if there is something that your husband is or your wife is doing, 
it's better to talk about it. Do not just keep quiet and hurt and cry in secret and call your family, mom, my husband is doing this, you know. Okay, communication is, is key to a better relationship because if you communicate, you can fix the problem. You can normally fix the problem. <clears throat> okay, number five, we're trying to piece it we're trying to piece it all together through interviews and anonymous tips from witnesses. This was said by one of the police officers on television. Piece it all together means the information is everywhere. It's like it's broken. It is broken into pieces. So when you piece together, it means you gather or you assemble. Okay. And we're trying to piece it all together through interviews by asking people, okay, did you see, what did you, did you hear something? Do you have a dash camera? Do you have a, uh, um, do you have a camera in front of your house? Um, um, do you happen to be standing at the window? I mean, by the window and looking outside at seven o'clock in, uh, in the evening last, la uh, uh, I mean, at seven o'clock last night. Okay. So you interview people and you and the police will say to you um please call crime stoppers and you know for tips tips me tips doesn't mean you go to the restaurant give you tips no tips means um people will give you some ideas tips means ideas okay we're we're trying to piece it all together through interviews and anonymous tips from witnesses Okay, so I'm going to continue and I'm going to ask Olga to, Olga, can you please read everything? Number one to number five. Prerogative. 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 No, no, read everything. All the yeah, time. yeah. Yes, yes, a second. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. That's her prerogative. Owning a luxury car is still the prerogative of the wealthy. Is that the risk you are willing to take? You have to address this issue as soon as possible before it becomes a bigger problem. Communication is a key to a better relationship. We're trying to piece it all together through interviews and anonymous tips from witnesses. Okay, thank you. I just uh, stood up and grabbed my coffee. <clears throat> Okay, so now um, I'm going to go to the next uh, slide, and the next slide is a conversation, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you, and the next person is Amarjit. Uh, uh, okay, let me, let, okay, no, you know what, Amarjit later. Okay. okay, let's have Neri and Sishan. I miss the voice of Sishan. Okay. <laughs> Sishan, turn on your camera, dude. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm there. Okay, Mar uh, Neri, Neri, and uh, and Sishan, please do the conversation. Okay, um, that is. Uh, you start, Sishan. Say hi, Daria. Yeah. Hi, Daria. I want you to be the first person to know. I've just made a very important decision. I'm not following you. What exactly do you mean? Are you really quitting your job? Well, you guessed it right. I'm leaving the company effective next month. You're kidding me? Where are you going? I was offered a better position, better pay by a new computer firm in Montreal. In fact, I'm moving the, the three, uh, I'm moving there next month. Are you talking about Vision Computer? You got it. That's a new company. It's not very stable yet. Uh, is that the risk that you're willing to take? I will give it a shot. Okay. Uh, just a second, everybody. Okay. Let me let me just turn off this um, speaker. It. Do you hear an echo when you are speaking? Or no? You're okay. No. No. Oh, we're okay. Oh, it's clear. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Now. Uh, Sishan, um, I don't want to make, I don't want to make you sad, Yeah. but <laughs> the way you read today, it's like you lost the end to touch. Yeah. It's been a, it's been a while, sir. You're right. Yeah, right. I, know, like, I can feel that. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I can do that. For two months, right? Yeah, your yeah. English, your English changed a little bit. You know? Yes, you're right. Okay. So I hope that you can. I no, not I hope. I know you will recover. Sure, okay? sir, I will. I just wanna be. I just wanna direct because, like, the way you went today, it's, yeah. it's like you returned to the first time you came to my class. So I just hope that, I, no, not not hope. And I know you will be better. Okay. Sure, sure. So thank now, you. Okay. Do you wanna try again, Cixian and and, and Neri? Yo. I okay. Think okay. Now, before you try again, let me yeah. model a little bit. Okay. okay, see, hi, Daria. I want to be the first person to know. I want you to be the first person to know. I just made a very important decision. I'm not following you. What exactly do you mean? Are you quitting your job? Well, you guess it right. I'm leaving the company effective next month. You're kidding me. Where are you going? I, I was offered a better position with better pay by a new computer firm in Montreal. In fact, I am moving there next month. Are you talking about Vision Computer? You got it. That's a new company. It's not very stable yet. Is that the risk you're willing to take, Sishan? Sishan, think about it. And mm -hmm. Sishan said, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Okay? Nice. Okay, so one more time. Okay? Uh, okay, so... Okay, go see Shenzi. Hi, Daria, and then change. I wanna, I want you to be the first. Okay, go. Hi, Daria. Go. Hi, Daria. I want you to be the first person you know. I have just made a very important decision. I'm not following you. What exactly did you mean? Are you quitting the job? Well, you guessed it right. I'm leaving the company effective next month. You're kidding me? Where are you going? I was offered a better position with better pay by a new computer firm in Montreal. In fact, I'm moving there next month. Are you talking about Vision Computer? You got it. That's a new company. It's not very stable yet. Is that the risk that you're willing to take? I'll Is give it a right? shot. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's better. It's better. Even Neri is better. Yeah. <laughs> Even Neri is better. Okay, so everybody, reaction. Did you like this this conversation? Yes, I love teacher. Yes. Yeah. Yes, this conversation I wrote it last night, and wow. you know when I am inspired, I can write a beautiful conversation. Okay, if I am no when I am inspired, and I am honestly speaking, you know what happened in the night school, right? Mm -hmm. um, I am so inspired that I have the level seven, eight, nine class because I know you are waiting for me. Okay. After the summer class. And so, but in the night school, really, um, unfortunately, I lost my level six, seven. And, but I'm so inspired to create <laughs> less. Uh, I don't want to explain this way I recorded. <laughs> mm. Okay. So, anyway, I wrote this conversation last night and my. Uh, my foundation is this blue one. Is that the risk you're willing to take? I uh, created a situation to get into this sentence. Uh, are you following me, everybody? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. And everything here, everything here is, is um, fictitious. Fictitious means not real. Okay. Vision computer does not exist. Maybe there is, I don't know. <laughs> and, and I incorporated idioms, like for example, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Okay, and I, I want you to practice this. I'll give it a shot. Okay, nga, nga, say to Amarjit, do you wanna try? I say, do you wanna try? Nga said, do you wanna try? Teacher, when you say, try? I'll give it a shot, Sorry, teacher. When you say I'll okay. give it a shot, is uh, I will call them. Okay, no, ju no, no, just a second. Okay, let, let them finish first. Okay, now say, do you want to try? Do you want to try? And I'm going to just say, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Okay, now let me go back to Karina. Karina, I'll, I'll give it a shot means I will try.
I'll give, okay. I'll give, I'll give you a shout. Shout means I will call. The spelling is different. This is shot and telephone call is shout. S H O U T. This is H H O T. You got it, Karina? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's give me a shout means call me. Give it a shot means try it. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I made, I made call. I, I made I made Colombian coffee for you. Really? Is it strong? Yeah. Give it a shot. Means try it. Okay. Give it a shot. Okay. Okay. Now, thank you. Thank you. I was offered a position. Want to impact? I'm moving there next month. Okay. Now here, look at this. Um, okay. Like, look at this. Well, you guessed it right. I'm leaving the company effective next month. Effective means beginning or starting. Okay. So for example, you say, you say to your children, guys, effective tomorrow. I want you all to get up at 730, not eight o'clock. I need time to prepare for everything for you to go to school. Effective tomorrow. Everything is seven o'clock and effective tomorrow. When we are eating, you do not use your cell phone and effective tomorrow. When I tell you, when I ask you to go to bed, you go to bed. Okay. And they say, mom, no, don't talk to me. <laughs> and you will see, <laughs> you will see, you can control your children. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I'm going to continue with the next one. Okay. Number six, appealing to the public, appealing to the public. You know what? Let, let me ask people to read before I explain. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, uh, okay. M Medina, Medina, are you ready to read or you are still yes. adjusting? Okay. <laughs> Medina, please read uh, six and seven. Okay, we are appealing to the public for information regarding this incident. I strongly suggest that you contact a lawyer. Yes. Okay, Amarjit, 8-9. Okay. It has been weeks and so far nobody has come forward. It was a terrible, a terrible, tragedy i hope whoever witnessed this senseless murder will come forward beautiful okay 10 11 12 yeah uh, it's quite a terrible no no not 10 11 12 oh sorry i encourage i encourage on the witness to come forward if you want to remind Anonymous con grand stoppers. Number 12. The suppers left the sand in a gray van. Beautiful. No, I'm so happy for you, Ma. Your English is clear. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, you know. <laughs> okay. So, okay, now I'm going to explain. Okay, this, these sentences from number six to number 12, I picked them up on television last week when a police officer was being interviewed by the media. I forgot the name of the officer, but he's an officer, uh, appeal of officer. And he said very professionally, we are appealing to the public for information regarding this incident. I strongly suggest that you contact a lawyer if you are not confident to turn yourself in. It's been, and then people say, it's been weeks. And so far, nobody has come forward. Okay, now listen, look at this. They, okay, short sentence, but three stress, three stresses. You see, it's been weeks. And so far, nobody has come forward. Amarjit, can you say, it's been weeks. And so far, nobody 
has come forward. Okay, go. Number eight. Amarjit, your phone. Can you mute your your? Yeah, you're you're muted. Yeah. I hope whoever better. No, 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 no. Just number eight. Number yes, eight. it's oh. been weeks. It has been weeks, and so far nobody has come forward. Yes, you see that very simple sentence, but it's very very important that you stress words in order to get the attention of the people you're talking with. You say it's been weeks, and so far nobody has come forward. So they look at you, huh? <laughs> but if you say it's been weeks, and no, so far nobody has come forward, and then people say, ah. Um, can I talk to you later? I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> you know, you've got to be like more dramatic and more passionate when you're talking. Okay, number nine, it was a terrible, terrible tragedy. I hope whoever witnessed this senseless murder will come forward. Will come forward means will say, Excuse me, officer, I was the one who shot. You come forward. You turn yourself in. You, know, you surrender. To come forward is to surrender, okay, to the police. Uh, no, not, not only to the police, to surrender or to, to identify yourself. To identify yourself. Tragedy is something very, very sad. And when you say senseless murder, senseless murder means a killing that is not necessary. It's a stupid killing. Okay? You kill somebody for $2, you know? <laughs> okay, so anyway. <clears throat> Number 10, I encourage all the witnesses to come forward. Now, the reason why I, uh, I included Number 10, I encourage all the witnesses to come forward, is for you to see it, to see come forward, in different situations, I encourage. Okay, instead of saying you have to come forward, phrase your sentence in a caring way, in a positive way. I encourage all the witnesses to come forward. And if you want to remain anonymous, call Crime Stoppers. Means I want you to call the police. I want you to uh, come out and, and speak about what you know and if you if you're scared if you are scared to let people know that you are talking to the police then remain anonymous keep yourself in secret remain anonymous you call crime stoppers crime stoppers is a telephone it's an office with a telephone number that when you call the police the police will not keep your phone number. I mean, your phone number will not appear. It's a, it's a law in Canada. For your privacy, your, your telephone will not appear and the police cannot trace who you are. Everybody look at me. The police cannot trace who you are. Because when I spoke to my, to my friend last night, he said, mm -hmm, I don't think so. <laughs> He says, well, I don't know, but that is the law in Canada. They cannot trace you, you know. When you call, uh, they should not trace you when you call Crime Stoppers. Number 12, the suspect. When you say suspect, it means you are not sure yet if this person is, in fact, the culprit. The suspect fled the scene in a gray van. Fled means escape, run away. The suspect fled the scene in a gray van. Okay. So next we have Naj Najiba. Are you comfortable reading? Najiba. Najiba, do you want to read? Yes. Okay. So Najiba and Karina, you are next. Najiba and Karina, you are next. You are going to read the conversation. And before you start reading, I just want to let you know that you see here, Crime Stoppers, Peel Region, and I put the telephone number of the police. This is the telephone number that you can call if you witness something illegal and you don't want to, to, 
You don't want to let the police know who you are. You want to remain anonymous. Okay, okay. so Karina, um, start the conversation feeling nervous. Okay, go. Uh, you need to call the police and report what you saw. I don't want uh, to get. Uh, uh, I don't want uh, to get uh, involved. Uh, I don't want uh, to put my family and uh, myself into uh, trouble. What's making you fearful? Well, I don't know uh, these uh, people and uh, what they can do to hurt my family. You live in Canada. You have nothing to fear. The police here will protect you. I believe uh, you, but I don't want to uh, put myself uh, at risk for uh, possible uh, uh, retaliation. 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 Oh dear. You know what? I have a suggestion. Call crime stoppers. You can report them what you witness while remaining anonymous. Okay. Very nice. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Okay. Did you see the, the did you see the conversation? Um, it's so beautiful. It's so, it's real. Yeah, you know, it's, it's so professional. It's real, right? And, and Karina, I love the way you read it. You got the feel of the conversation. And Najiba, I cannot really blame you because you're a new student, but please continue practicing. Please continue practicing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, now, now this, I'm doing this for Najiba, okay? Najiba, I'm going to model. You need to call the police and report what you saw. Yes. I don't want to get involved. I don't want to put my family and myself in trouble. What's making you fearful? Well, I don't know these people and what they can do to hurt my family. You live in Canada. You have nothing to fear. The police, the police... Oh, I, I missed something. It should be the police is here. The police is here. Oh, no, no, sorry. The police here. No, it's correct. The police here will protect you. I believe you, but I don't want to put myself at risk for possible retaliation. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You know what? I have a suggestion. Call Crime Stoppers. You can report to them what you witnessed while remaining anonymous. Anonymous. Okay, okay, so there. Any question? Okay, and this is the phone number. Okay, Crime Stop. Every city, every city, uh, every region has a different telephone number. Okay, but if in the event, uh, I mean, in the event that you live in Richmond Hill, uh, the, the Crime Stoppers in Richmond Hill is different number, you can still call the Peel region and the Peel region will connect the information to them. So, okay, I hope that you will keep this number. Teacher, could you repeat yes. anonymous? How you how do you pronounce this anonymous something? Okay, okay, I'm gonna say it slowly, Karina. See, ana, ana, ni, anani, 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 mess. Anani. Not moose, mess. 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 Anonymous. Anonymous? I'm sorry. Okay. I don't get it. Karina, anonymous. 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 Yes. No. Like famous. Anonymous. Anonymous. Famous. Anonymous. 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 Karina, uh, it's also a good idea that if you, if you can, uh, if you have the time, if you have the time, okay, uh, go back to the um, to the video that I posted last week, 
uh, I mean, the, the last week lesson. Because uh, listen, everybody, this is this is what I'm doing, okay? Especially the new students. I will teach you a new sentence today, and the sentence today that you learn might return to the lesson next week. Why? It is my way of reviewing. And last week, uh, Karina, and the word anonymous is uh, was the most important word. No, not the most important word, but uh, was my first uh, sentence. Like, okay, okay, I'm gonna talk to the boss uh, about your problem. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, talk to the boss about my problem, but please don't say my name. Why? I wanna remain anonymous. You see? Okay, okay, I'm gonna continue. Okay, I'm gonna continue with the next one. Okay, now we have number 13 and 14. And I'm gonna ask uh, Niruba to read number 13 and 14. And Niruba, the word is altercation. 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 Uh, uh, Nero, but do you have, did you open two? Some background noise is coming. Okay, okay. Okay, you know, you know what? Okay, Nero, but go. I had an altercation with one of the passengers on the bus this morning, which almost led to a physical fight. One thing I learned that uh, resonated with me is your sincere com compassion for the homeless people. Your experiences resonate powerfully with me, living in this country in a similar situation. Okay, okay. That, that's it. Okay, yeah. Um, Niruba, turn off your, 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 your microphone. Okay, so number 13 is I had an altercation. Instead of saying I had a fight, I had a... Okay, I had a fight, I had a big argument. You elevate your English by saying, I had an altercation with one of the passengers on the bus this morning, which almost led to a physical fight. A physical fight is not an argument. It is a fight using your hand. Bang, you know, bang, boom, you know, <laughs> boom. <laughs> Physical fight. So I had an altercation is uh, another way of saying um, I had a big argument with one of the passengers on the bus. Now, why did you use altercation? The difference between argument and altercation is normally, and listen everybody, normally when you use the word altercation, it is an argument in public. If it is an argument, in the privacy of your home, it is better to say, I had an argument with my mother-in-law. But altercation is you are walking on the street and somebody is talking bad about you and you had a fight with a person. That is an altercation. And then, you know, the, the, the argument is very strong. You're doing this, wow, what do you mean? No, 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 no. <laughs> but no physical fight, okay? That's altercation. Okay, okay, number 14. One thing I learned that resonated with me is your sincere compassion for the homeless people. Resonate. The word is resonated with me. Resonated with me means it made connection to you. So here the word, uh, look at the blue sentences, uh, the blue um, uh, I mean, uh, vocabulary that, uh, that I type below. Resonate is to affect or appeal to someone in a personal or emotional way. So if you came to Canada um, without your parents, you're alone. And then you meet somebody in the workplace, she is also alone. And then she's crying to you, talking about the difficulty of being away from a family then you can say, 
I, 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 I deeply resonate with you. It means I feel how you feel. I connect to what you're saying. Resonate. And it's a beautiful word. Oprah uses it. Dr. Phil, Barack Obama, not Donald Trump, um, <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe Biden, they use resonate. You know, professional people, psychologists, you know, people who are training other people, they, you know, they use the word resonate. Okay, so one thing that resonated with me is your sincere compassion for the homeless people. Like, for example, uh, for example, uh, Nga, when she sees the homeless people in Toronto, she, she feels very sad and she gives them $2 each person or $5. And then I'm watching, I'm watching Nga, she's doing it. And I also feel so sad, like Nga, I feel the same thing. So your compassion for the homeless people nga, resonates with me. It means it affects me in a personal or emotional way. And I, I connect with you. Okay. Okay. Now your experiences resonate powerfully with me living in this country in a similar situation. I came to Canada. I could not get the job. I could not speak English. I could not. I don't have friends. I don't have money to, I live in a basement. Okay. So after six months, I meet, I, uh, after six months, I meet Shilpa. Shilpa, no, no job, no English, no, no family living in the basement. So I resonate powerfully with Shilpa because I live in the same similar, in a similar situation in this country, like Shilpa. Okay, now, and below here, you see the word fatal, fatal. When, okay, when you say fatal, let me ask, let me ask uh, Najiba, when you see the word fatal, what does it mean? It means somebody Uh, Shishan, when so, you use the word when you use the word fatal, what does it mean? Somebody what? Like the like something involved uh, with fight or like that or like hurt someone. Some... Okay, Shishan, you're trying to guess. <laughs> okay, fatal means somebody died. Died, yeah. So when you say fatal crash, yeah. it means the car crashed and somebody died. Died. Fatal right. shooting, it means somebody was shot. Uh, somebody. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Some, you know, I'm so love my job so much that I my brain is advanced. Yeah. Okay. okay. So when you say fatal shooting, it means there was a shooting and somebody died. Died. When you say fatal accident, it means there was a car accident or work-related accident and one of the people died. So that is fatal, okay? Fatal means deadly. When you, okay, fatal. When you say fatal relationship, it means you have a relationship with a man or a woman and because your relationship is not legal, and somebody was jealous and they shoot you, that is a fatal relationship. <laughs> All right. Okay. Altercation is a noisy argument or disagreement, especially in public. So right. as I said earlier, when you say altercation, you use it when the argument is taking place around many people, like in public, not inside the house, not inside the office. Okay. Okay, so any question about this slide? A anybody? Any question? No, no question, sir. Okay, so now, now when I say, okay, I'm going to give you some strategy how to answer me or anybody in the future. Any question about the slide? You don't, don't, don't say no question or, you know, just say everything is clear. Thanks, Andrew. Okay, you know, something like that. Make it different. Okay, Hilal, I can say everything. Everything is clear. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. Any question, I, I, Thanks, Andrew. Everything. Yes, I have. Okay, Karina, what do you want to say? 
I would like to know a little bit more about Resonate. Resonate? Okay, here, uh, yeah, resonate. here, Karina, you see here, the blue one, right? It says resonate to affect or appeal to someone in a personal or emotional way. Um, Karina, the word resonate is, um, when, okay, you have a friend. Okay, let's say your friend is, um, for example, Neri is your friend. And Neri is doing something like helping the seniors, helping the poor people. And she's not rich, but she's doing it from her heart. And when you look at Neri, you become emotional about this. And why? Because you see what Neri is doing. You, okay, you see in Neri what you are doing. You see in Neri your personality. She is a very generous person and you are the same. And so when you look at Neri, you become emotional because of this emotional connection that is resonate. Now, for example, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a different uh, example. You can say, for example, someone is telling you a story, blah, 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 about Canada, you know, uh, you know, when I came to Canada, my English was zero, blah, blah, blah. But you are not in this situation, Karina. And because you are not in this situation, you came to Canada, you're a university graduate, and you could speak English. Your English was level five. So you could communicate when you came. But this person talking with you uh, had zero English. So you can say, uh, and so you say, um, I don't know. For example, you say to Amarjit, I don't know. Uh, I cannot resonate with that. Because when I came to Canada, I was like very confident and I have many friends. My husband was here and, and you know, um, everything was so easy for me. So I cannot really resonate with you. It's like, it's like I cannot connect with you. I cannot relate to you. Relate. You know, in Spanish, right? Relation, relate. Yes. I cannot relate to what you are feeling, what you're talking about. I cannot relate because I've never been in this situation. Okay. So you, you got it, Karina? Resonate, to relate, to connect, to feel the same way, to understand okay. other people, Thanks. to understand other people because you are in the same situation. It's like an empathy. It's like an empathy. Empathize. Uh, empathize. Well, empathize. Empathy. When you put yourself in the shoes of somebody else. So. Yes. Or we can say it uh, hits you deeply. No, no, no. Uh, Shilpa, hits you deeply means it affected you deeply, right? Yeah. But when you say when you say resonate, you are talking about connection. You are oh. talking about connection. Connection with uh, emotional, uh, emotionally. Yeah, heart to heart. Heart to heart. Okay, got it. Yes. So, uh, empathize with you is I empathize with you will be closest. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go to the next one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so next one is another conversation. Okay, another conversation, and I'm gonna ask. Um, I'm gonna ask. Just a second. I cannot see the other students, right? How do I see the other students? Chat with everyone. Chat with everyone. Oh no, it's not there. Okay, let me just. Sh oh, show everyone. Okay. Okay, so I'm um, Amarjit. Uh, uh, Amirold, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Oxelia, are you are you, can you hear me, Oxelia? Yes, Andrew. Okay, good. Uh, Amarold and Oxelia, please do the conversation. What you will do, Oxelia, is this. You look very are you all right. Okay, go, Oxelia. Uh, very you upset. look are yes. you all right? No, I'm not. In fact, I am furious. I want to punch somebody. Relax. <laughs> Please. Okay, no, so Please can I stop down. you? Can I stop you? <laughs> can I stop a little bit? I'm sorry, Oxelia. 
You know why I laugh? Because I know Amaral. Amaral, you know, he works in a church. <laughs> so Amaral is so nice guy, right? And so he cannot put his he cannot put his emotion in this conversation. <laughs> Because I know this conversation is, you are so angry. You say, no, I'm not. In fact, I'm furious. I want to punch somebody. <laughs> but you cannot do it, right? Because like, but I'm going to just try your best. This is just conversation. Okay. Um, well, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Oxelia, please repeat from the beginning. <laughs> okay. You look, um, I think very, are you all right? No, I'm not. In fact, I'm furious. I want to punch somebody. <laughs> Relax. Down. No. I will just. I will get you something. Just a glass of water, please. Sure. Here you are. So, tell you what happened. I had an inter I had an altercation with one of the passengers of the bus this morning which almost led to a physical fight. What? I almost punched him. He wasn't wearing a mask and he sat right next to me and said, everybody think I am Tom Cruise. Do you want to take a selfie? <laughs> and what did you say? <laughs> Nothing. He took a selfie of me and him and asked for my name so that he could tag me on social media. What? That? And mm -hmm. something? Or something? Apparently, he was drunk. Okay. Everybody. Okay. Okay. First of all, I was wrong here with the selling. <laughs> Relax. Should be no ED. Okay, I'm going to fix it later. Relax. <laughs> sit down. I'll get you some coffee. Okay. Now, everybody, did you see the situation here? So, yes, I'm a rogue, goes to work, and he looks very upset. He's not talking. And Oxelia is a friend of Amarold. And Oxelia says, you look very upset. Are you all right? And Amarold says, no, I'm not. In fact, I'm furious. I want to punch somebody. <laughs> Okay, so Amaral tells a story about what happened on the bus on his way to work. He had a big argument with somebody on the bus, someone who is drunk, smelling like alcohol. And Amaral was looking at this guy because this guy was not wearing a mask. And this guy insulted Amaral. He was so sarcastic. He said, he said, are you, looking, are you looking at me because like I look like Tom Cruise, the movie star? <laughs> and Amaral is a man, and this is a man. And Amaral, uh, and then Amaral kept quiet. As a professional, you kept quiet, right? And then the guy says, do you want to take a selfie? You know, do you, do you want to take a selfie? And, and then Amaral kept quiet. And then the guy put his hand on Amaral's uh, shoulder and took a selfie and after that he said give me your name I want to tag you on Instagram or Facebook <laughs> so Amirog was very very upset but he did not want to fight with a guy because he knew that he is he knew he knew that the guy was drunk but he could not forget what happened to him on the bus that's why he came to work upset yeah you got it everybody Okay, so that's the situation. So I, I made a mistake here with the spelling. Um, relax, relax. It's been no ED. Okay, so I hope I remember it later. Okay, so next let's have um, Betty and Canesta. You will be next, okay? Uh, it's me here. What is the meaning here? Say, was he not or something? Oh, okay, good question. Was he not or something? Not means crazy. But not here means crazy, but crazy in a mental way, not in a joking way. 
not. Okay. Not means crazy, but mentally. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not was he not all, like was he not or something? Was he a crazy guy? You know. Okay. 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 And uh, last question. Apparently. Oh, apparently, apparently, apparent, apparently, apparently. Apparently. Means clearly. Clearly. Okay. 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 No, obviously. Apparently okay, means okay. obviously. Obviously, okay. Obviously means Sounds good. clearly. You don't need to find out because you can smell it, right? You can smell the alcohol. Yeah. So apparently he was drunk. Okay. So Sherpa, thank, thank you for the question because uh, it, you know, it makes people understand. Okay, better. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so number 15 and 16, let's have uh, Betty 15, 16. Yes, teacher. If you fail to prepare that, then you prepare to fail as simple as that. The most important thing is to see progress, not perfection. Okay. Yes. Okay. Read 17, Abedi. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. That's a perfectly valid point. You have my absolute support. Okay. Okay. Yes. Support. Okay. Now, uh, 18, 19, and 20, canesta, uh, canesta. I generously want no, you... No, no, genuine, genuinely. I genuinely want you to have the best life heard for you. I'd like to think myself as a good parent. I'm not marrying for her perfection perfection doesn't exist i am a no, i don't i'm in, no no wait wait i'm in r i'm in r i so, i'm uh i don't know what to say to be perfectly honest i am speechless to tell you the truth I can't comment on that. I want to remember neural. Neutral. 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 I won't comment on that. That made me tongue tight. I am speechless. Okay, good. Now, these set of sentences, number 15 to number 20, they are beautiful sentences, especially the number 20. And I hope you will be able to use them in the future because they will empower you uh, when you are speaking with, so with, so with some people. Okay, number 15, if you fail to prepare, then you prepare to fail. As simple as that. You understand this sentence? If you fail to prepare, then you prepare to fail. Means if you do not prepare, then you are going to fail. You will not succeed if you don't prepare. Okay. Uh, number 16. The most important thing is to seek. Seek means look for. Is to seek progress, not perfection. Don't look for perfection because perfection does not exist. You look for improvement. Okay. The most important thing is to seek progress, not perfection. Number 17. That's a perfectly valid point. You have my absolute support. Absolute support means total support, complete support. That's a perfectly valid point. Means what you said to me is logical. It makes sense to me. And because of this, I support you 100%. That is the meaning of number 17. Number 18, I genuinely want you to have the best life ahead of you. Ahead of you means in the future. Genuine means um, genuine, real. I really want you to have the best life in the future. In simple English, I really want you to have the best life 
in the future. In higher level English, your level, you've got to conduct yourself in this situation, in this way. I genuinely want you to have the best life ahead of you. Number 19, I'd like to think of myself as a good parent. Now, this sentence, when you start your sentence with, I'd like to think of myself, that kind of communication is humble. You know humble? It is like in English and also in Spanish, before you start a sentence, especially a sentence or an idea that benefits you, you say, modesty aside. Modesty aside, modesty aside, I come from a, a highly educated family. Modesty aside, I drive a Mercedes. Modesty aside, I own two houses. Modesty aside, I am a doctor by profession. So when you say something positive about yourself, you use the word modesty aside. I think I gave it to you last week, right? Now, uh, but for number 19, I'd like to think of myself as a good parent. Means when you say, I'm a good parent, I'm a good father, I'm a good mother. It is better to say, I'd like to think of myself as a good father. I'd like to think of myself as a good husband. I'd like to think of myself. Okay, for example, uh, she, for example, I'm a road. Somebody says to you, I'm a road. Do you think you are, okay, I'm a road. Are you a good father? And then I'm a say, well, I like to think of myself as a good father. And I'm not aiming for perfection because I know perfection doesn't exist. I believe in progress, not perfection. You see, you see how I mix the, the sentences together to, to give you uh, a very, in, I mean, an intelligent communication. Okay, are you uh, are you a good um, are you a Andrew? Are you a good teacher? Okay, now um, Najiba asked me, "Are you a good teacher, Andrew?" Ask me. Come on, go. Yes. Yes, I'm. Uh, yes, yes no, no. you are a good teacher. No, 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 Najiba. No, ask me. Are you a good teacher? Ask me. Come on. Are you a good teacher? Well, I'd like to think of myself as a good teacher. And I think I am good in the sense that I look at my profession as service, not as a job. And I, when I wake up in the morning, I always have a smile on my face because I know that it's another day, another opportunity for me to make a difference in the lives of other people. You see, beautiful. Instead of saying, of course I'm good, yeah, my students like me very much, you know. <laughs> it's different, right? You see, I'd like to think of myself as a good teacher. I'd like to think of myself as a good mother. You know, when you are telling a story, uh, you will see when people are listening to you, they love it. Now, this sentence, I like to think of myself as a good I got this sentence from Tom Cruise. Wow. When Tom, yeah, from when Tom Cruise was being interviewed by Oprah, and Oprah said, So, um, so why do you think, Oprah said, why do you think you are successful as a father? And then Tom Cruise, you know, he, he thought first and he said, well, Oprah, I'd like to think of myself as a good father. And as a good father, you know, I make sure that I spend quality time with my children. I take them to the beach, to the mountains. We go uh, mountain climbing. I talk to them when they are quiet. I always ask them um, why they are quiet and if they have a problem. And when they are crying, I hug them, I kiss them, and I make sure that, you know, I do my job as a parent, you know? And I said, I was watching Oprah and Tom Cruise, and I heard this right away. This was seven years ago. I wrote it. I'd like to think of myself as a good father. Beautiful sentence. Beautiful, sir. Very it's effective. It's very beautiful. Very good. Thank you, sir. People Thank will you. Respect, yeah, people will respect you more. Yeah. Okay, number 20 is I'm in awe. Andrew, I'm, I'm in, really sorry I uh, stopped you. Can you um, 
explain about the 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 the, the sentence eighteen again, please. Uh, number eighteen. Yeah. I genuinely, I genuinely want you to have the best life ahead of you. I genuinely want you. It means I want you, and I'm speaking from my heart. That. I want you to have the best life in the future. I am working hard because I want to secure your future. I want you to, the, to have the best life in the future. That's why I want you to marry Shishan, not Amirold. <laughs> <laughs> because Shishan, he is, Shishan is an engineer and he is educated. He's a nice guy, he comes from a good family. So I genuinely want you to have the best life ahead of you. That's why I want you to marry Kishan. So, <laughs> so uh, the genu uh, genuinely mean, I said? Means, me means sincerely. Sincerely, yeah, thank you. Means, ge okay, genuinely nga means you are not fake. You are real. You are, okay, uh, I'll give you an example nga. Okay, for example nga, Hilalai says to you, Nga, look, my, my husband gave me, gave me a diamond ring. And then Nga, you look at the diamond ring and you say, Oh my God, this must be very expensive. I love it. My husband never does this to me. And then, um, and then Hilalai says, Because it is genuine, I, my husband paid $12,000 for this. Genuine means it's real, it's not fake. Yeah, thank you. So when you say, I genuinely want you, it means I am not playing. I am not pretending. I truly want you to have the best life ahead of you. You got it now? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, sir. you're welcome. Okay, number 20. Number 20, I'm in awe. I'm in awe means I'm very, very surprised. When you are in awe, Everybody, can you see my mouth? When you are in awe, normally your mouth is like this. You say, oh. That is, you are in awe. When you are very surprised and your mouth is like this, oh. and your eyes are big, oh. 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 Oh my God. Oh. Look, 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 look. Look at Karina. <laughs> you know, you are in awe. Okay. I'm in awe. I don't know what to say, to be perfectly honest. I am speechless to tell you the truth. I can't comment on that. I can't comment on that means I know what to say, but I don't want to say. Why? Because I want to protect other people. I, want, I, I, I have to be careful. I don't want the boss to know that Andrew said it. Okay, like for example, um, for example, I say, Hilalai, Hilalai, uh, does your does your mother-in-law like you? Just for example, and then Hilalai, you know that she doesn't like you, so so you say, um, I can't comment on this. Um, Andrew, can we talk about something else? <laughs> you know, you don't want to say yes or no, right? You don't yes. want to comment. Okay, and I and I think the other one is I want to remain neutral. You know neutral? Partial, neutral means partial, partial. Uh, you are fair. No, yeah. not fair. Neutral means impartial. Like yeah, yeah, you're yeah, you're you yeah, fair is impartial, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You wanna remain impartial, uh fair, you don't you you don't wanna side on anybody. You wanna look at people equally. Like uh, uh, Nga and Hilalai. Hilalai, 50%. Nga, 50%. Both of them are my friends and they are fighting. I don't want to talk about Hilalai is wrong. Nga is correct. Because both of them are my friends. So I will not, I won't comment on the situation because I want to remain neutral. You got it, everybody? Okay. Uh, that made me tongue tied. When you are tongue-tied, your mouth, your tongue is, uh, 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 you cannot speak. Why you cannot speak? Because you are very surprised or you are, um, 
some people are tongue tied because they are lying. <laughs> okay. Um, for example, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend um, outside of our relationship? And you say, ah, but, uh, um, uh, well, 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 that, well, Amanda is a friend of mine. Just we are just friends. Why did you say Amanda? It means your life. <laughs> okay, so um, any question here? Sir, I want to say something. Yeah, yes, she said. Sir, I genuinely want to appreciate your work, sir. It's such effective work. I'm really, from bottom of my heart, I like it. All the sentences, this contemporary English, English you created for us, it's really very, very effective and very useful for us. Like all the sentences, right from 15, it's like it's very like logical. Not only logical, it's also very effective. Like if you fail to prepare, then you prepare to fail. So, and all our sequence 16, 17, 18, all all of them. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, you're very welcome, Sisha, and I and I really appreciate your feedback because that is actually my intention. Because uh, you know the good thing about teaching level seven, eight, nine is because it is the highest level in our in our school, and because it is the highest level, the school cannot kick you. Yeah. <laughs> because it's the last one, right? Yeah. And because you know me very well, and I know you very well, so yeah. I know exactly how to improve you. Yes. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. why I can teach you effective sentences like this. Yeah. Uh, sentences that will really improve you, change you, empower you, and mm -hmm. When people listen to you, people will, will have a good impression on you. You're right. Sir. Okay. And yeah. so, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so and, much. Like all of these sentences. And teacher. Um, you know, and I will do this every week, every weekend. Sir, teacher. Yes. Yes, your friend. Yeah. So uh, uh, I appreciate uh, your hard work. And I wanted to ask you. Can you give me that kind of exercise so at least we can utilize whatever the word and contemporary English in our sentence? Oh, oh, okay. So you mean, so Shilpa, your 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 uh, your suggestion is, um, I choose vocabulary from these sentences mm -hmm. and give it to you as a homework to write your own sentences. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to plan that, not, not today, because, because we have to do something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but next time, because yeah. Yeah, at least that time. way we can get confidence, you know? Yes, yes. I, and actually, actually, uh, what we are doing is, in, in professional uh, teacher uh, terminology, what we are doing is uh, we are um, practicing but what Shilpa is suggesting is you want you want to you want to do skill using, not yeah. practicing. Okay, so yes, that's a very good suggestion. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna I'm, I have to keep you until eleven thirty because if I don't, I cannot introduce to you the homework. Um, okay, so let's have. Okay, let's see. Hilalai and uh, Madina, can you speak? No, not Hilalai. Yes. Okay, Madina and Marie, please do do the conversation. Okay. Okay, Madina, you start. Okay. Melissa and John broke up and I'm in total awe. I mean... I don't know what to say. You're Melissa's friend. Do you know the reason why they called it quotes? I forgot the question. Mark. Oh, Marie. Marie, are you here? Oh, Marie is not here. Can I go ahead? Okay. Hello? Just a second. I... I... I'm looking for people. Can okay, I... okay, she, okay, Shelpa. Was it you, Shelpa? Yeah. Can I read? Okay. Hello? Okay, Medina, can you please repeat? Uh, Medina, okay. you're drama. You say, Melissa and John broke up. 
And I'm in Totoro. I mean, I don't know what to say. Yo, Melissa's friend, do you know the reason why they call it quits? Like that. Okay. okay go, Medina. Melissa and John broke up, and I'm in total awe. I mean, I don't know what to say. You're Melissa's friend. Do you know the reason why they called it quits? Honestly, I'm speechless. Please confirm. Is John a womanizer? I can't comment on that. What do you mean? You don't know anything about it? I don't want to comment or say anything about their personal lives. I would rather stay neutral. Both of them are my friends. I'm your friend as well. Of course you are. But I don't want you to get involved. Leave them alone. Oh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Did you like the conversation? Yeah, yeah. very good. It's beautiful, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful. Medina and Shilpa, congratulations. You did a great job there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, especially uh, Shilpa, I was listening to you. You say, uh, of course you are, but I don't want you to get involved. Leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, do you understand the word womanizer? No. Okay, womanizer is a man who has relationship with many women um, like a playboy okay like womanizer <laughs>